Let's take first of all a very big PVC pipe and using a marker I can mark the shape of a blade. Yes, I'm talking about the blade of a windmill. So as you can see, I have a strange shape, like a triangular shape. I can cut away the part using a jigsaw. I mount on my jigsaw this special blade that has so many tools close to each other so that I have a clean cut and a PVC doesn't melt. I paint everything in white, repeat this procedure three times and this is the final result. Three, three blades that are done. Now let's take this. This is not a motor. This is a compressor. I took it apart from a car and this is the air compressor from air conditioning system. Let's take now a very old and rusty kitchen pan, remove the bottom part using a grinder, dividing three parts and mark six points where I can drill holes. This will be the part where I can then secure in place the PVC blade, make sure that everything is straight and centered and then weld the parts together. I will, I will connect the compressor to this plate and make sure that everything is spinning freely and without a lot of friction. So this I found on the street is the structure from a bed and with these other components that are iron parts I will make like the base of my windmill. Yes, I need to make a base that is quite high but also quite strong and sturdy, doesn't shake and doesn't move. So this is the result, it's almost high like me, it's almost 2 meters and I then can put the compressor here on the top, weld the parts together and this after painting everything is the, the result. It's very important to paint the parts because otherwise we'll get rusty very very soon under the rain and on the sea. Yes, because I will use this on the water. So let me take something else instead. I'm talking about the mask. This is a very important part of the project. I choose this mask, is, if you want one, you find a link here on Amazon because it's very interesting. Air comes here from the top, passed through uh, two valves that are here on the nose and then exit here from the bottom Yeah, so that I don't really need an air regulator pressure because all the pressure pressure that is in exit can go out from the bottom part. I will replace the snorkel using this connector, brass connector and I can then screw it inside here and then make sure that it is perfectly inside, I don't want to lose it when I'm using the mask and then secure and close the holes that are on the side using this PVC glue. This glue is quite good for this project. And then I can take this. This is a 15 meter long tube. I can connect it here on the top part of this mask and the other part of the tube will be connected to the air compressor. Yes, because the air compressor have two holes, as you can remember, from one hole we will suck air and from the other one will push compress air. Now I took this. This is both that I have from many years now and I then can put the base and the crane and the compressor here on top and mount also the blades. After mounting everything this is the result and it's also very easy to move so I can push it around very easy. But let me show you something that is very very interesting. Yes, I was telling you that this is an air compressor so let's see what's inside and how it works. When the windmill spins and I remove the cover just for showing you what's inside you can see now that there are six pistons that move very very fast and can compress air a very big volume of air is very important also to clean it up because inside can be oil or other like, you know, ch chemical components that are quite nasty <laughs> so let's test it and see how it works <laughs>
Well, folks, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the project. I think this one is the best one ever. Yes, ever. It's not my first underwater project I'm doing. A couple years ago, I also made an underwater bubble, 22 feet underwater, where you can dive inside. You can find a lot of air. You can stay inside for about 20 minutes. It was very, very fun. You find a link here. You just have to click here. But now let me tell you something. This project could be very dangerous, so don't try to imitate me. Just take it like something fun to watch on YouTube. This could be very dangerous. I know very well this spot. I'm a windsurfer. I know for sure that in the afternoon for two hours, there's always a very strong wind that never goes down. So I can use this device for a couple hours without problems. But I also had a couple friends on a little boat ready to rescue me if there are any type of problems. So I was pretty confident with this project. So hope you enjoy it. And now the bad news. Unluckily, my GoPro is dead. I was recording this video and the water comes inside and doesn't turn on anymore. So if you want to help me buy a new GoPro, you find a link here below on a crowdfunding or just on some donation on PayPal. And this is very, very appreciated for helping me the oncoming project. So thank you very much. At this point, I leave you with my two previous projects always about underwater briefing. So the underwater bubble, check it out. And also a couple years ago, I made also a device you can attach to your arm and you can breathe. So you find the link here. Check them both, are very cool, but this is the best. I'll see you next week with another do-it-yourself tutorial. Ciao, ciao.